Here we are cruising down 270 in Montgomery County, Rockville area, Maryland, with my water bottle at the wheel. This is a pretty complicated road actually. You can see it's got express lanes, it's got regular lanes, in we're in the express mile. lane. Stay to the left. Okay, I'm gonna use auto lane change here. Somebody's coming up behind me, but it's gonna go anyway. There it went. If you can see the guy behind me. He's right behind me. I don't think the mirror is coming out in the video. But anyway, we're in a lot of traffic here. Half a mile. Stay to the left to HOV to I-495 east, I-495 south. The big thing is that we don't hit anybody, of course, or anything. That's the challenge. Stay to the left to HOB to I-495 South Washington, North Virginia. You can see this see the slower traffic ahead. Let's see how it reacts. I'm not touching or doing anything. It's reacting. Did a good job. It's keeping the car length so it doesn't appear to be anything dramatic to me. Lots of traffic up there. And as you can see, this is just like full autonomous self-driving. It's going all the way down. I've even had it stop before on the interstate. Of course, in the past, I was always had my hands on the wheel, but now I don't have to. It's doing a great job. Estimated time in traffic, 24 minutes. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm not going to keep you on this video for 24 minutes. I'll uh, come back again if there's anything interesting to watch. Otherwise, it's stop and go traffic, and I can enjoy myself in stop and go traffic because I don't have to drive. I think we are going to stop here. Yep. It's stop and go traffic, and I don't have to drive. Pretty cool. While I'm in stop and go traffic, I want to show you here how Autopilot 2 shows if there's a car in front of the car in front of you. It uses some other type of new system to be able to detect that. That way it can anticipate you know, heavy braking or panic stops ahead of time before you can even possibly see them yourself. It's pretty cool. Alright, now we're in a rather common situation. We're in heavy traffic, stop and go on the DC Beltway here and we're losing a lane here. So everybody's got to merge in. This right lane is being lost. Let's see how the autopilot handles it. Anything could happen here. All right, I'm hoping the autopilot will stay in the lane and, and give enough room for this guy. I don't think anybody else is gonna to try to sneak in there, but we'll see. Let's see how it does. I think a lot depends on how the drivers around me handle the situation. Alright, see it's moving over to the left side of the lane. I think it must sense that the vehicle is there. I'm way over to the left side, you see that? And it's sensing other vehicles around me. I think we're almost to the worst part of this. Alright, let's see what it does here. We're almost out of road. Again, I'm doing nothing here. No hands on the wheel, nothing on the accelerator or the brake. I'm just letting it handle it itself. Let's see. Ooh, it's getting close. It's getting really close. Okay, I'm just gonna hit the brake there. I was a little concerned. You see there's a truck there. I, I'll put it back now. 
but I was a little concerned there. I don't know if you saw how close that was. I may have averted disaster. I don't know. I think these are the areas I'm finding are having a little bit of trouble or challenging the autopilot system or where there's a strange lane ending or the lines aren't lining up straight like it's in a straight lane. Construction zones, lanes that go down, things like that. But anyway, I'll have to go back and look at this video again, but I was pretty sure I was not going to play chicken anymore with this car in front of me. Heavy DC Beltway traffic here, further down the road, and it's handling it fine. It's really the only issue is when a lane ends, like here, that lane is ending right there. See that? I'm not in that lane, so no big deal, but that's really the issue. See, we're having no problems other than that. Again, so you can see what we got going on here. It's just my water bottle. I am not, no feet on pedals, no hands on the wheel. We're doing pretty much full autonomous self-driving here on the DC Beltway. It's letting me come to a complete stop. Breaking good rate right there, but it's nothing that's dramatic, you know. I mean, it's nothing. It actually may be a little more subtle than it would be if I was driving. It's keeping, trying to keep a constant distance between me and the car in front, or at least relative to the speed, anyway. Probably a better job at that than I could do as a human. See, someone cuts in front, it slows down a little bit. It's not going to ram them. I wouldn't want that. I'll tell you one thing that I'm really noticing and really liking is the ability of this system to really smooth out the abrupt braking incidents and accelerate, hard accelerating incidents of this traffic, it's really kind of, you know, instead of making huge ripples in the traffic, like a lot of people tend to do when they're driving, it's actually working actively to smooth out these ripples and make the traffic behind me flow even smoother. So that's a pretty cool benefit of, of this because it's, it's, really, it's really aware constantly of what it's doing and the distances between me and the vehicle in front of me. And because of that, you know, it's, like I, I mentioned earlier, it's just doing a way better job than any human could be doing on this. Here we're crossing the American Legion Bridge into Virginia on the DC Beltway. Going from Maryland into Virginia. We're approaching Tyson's Corner, Virginia, and I'm, I've, it's been doing, doing well, I haven't had any issues. Again, we had, well, actually, since we said we had any issues, nothing new. Here comes the Jersey barrier on the right. Hopefully it won't hit it. Nothing new except for we did have another merge where more traffic was merging into our lane because their right lane was ending to the right of us and I had to hit the brake. But that was, you know, that's something that I understand is not perfect right now. Exit right to exit 46. So I just need to be aware of it and take over when I need to. Tyson's Corner. Potential issues, cars merging onto the highway, and there, it does it just fine, but there's plenty of space. It wasn't real close in stop and go traffic. I think it's only when a lane ends in stop and go traffic that it becomes an issue, because right there was no problem at all. Let's Actually, let's watch what happens here. Looks like a similar thing, although I have to get off up here, but we've got like a big crunch of cars coming together. That's usually what the problem is. Actually, I'm going to turn right. I want to see if it'll move over for me because I want to get off. It did. Okay. Well, that worked well, and we didn't have to deal with the right lane ending. 